Yes, mate. All right, we are back. I haven't filmed, vlogged in about three months, which is absolutely mad. But I'm going to get back into it now. Very, very gassed with this video. Lots of things planned, mate. Thursday today, I'm about to head to Pirate Studios. I'm actually teaching my mate Aaron to DJ at the moment, which is fucking sick, and he's loving it. So, yeah, I'm going to head to the studios, hit up a two-hour mix with him, and then I'm going to smash a push session at Body World, which is the gym I train at in Plymouth. It's sick, sick gym. Should be a big session. I'll definitely get some clips. We can talk more about that later. Very, very gassed. And then tomorrow's hospitality, which was also going to be included in this video. It's going to be like the main bulk of this video. Hospitality Plymouth. It's gonna be freaking nuts and I cannot wait, mate! Yes, it's good to be back. All right, I literally can't get enough of this Cult Shock Sub Focus tune, new one, recombined. Honestly, this part here where like the lasery bits come in. I just wanna say. <laughs> so good! Like, I heard it when I was kind of like low key off my nut and I was like, whoa! It's so sick! Alright everyone, this is Kate. Yes, yes. <laughs> She's fucking alcoholic. Mad. That was actually a pretty decent session, honestly. That non stim pre workout does wonders for the pump. I don't normally train this late in Plymouth, and yeah, it was a sick session. Pretty much just like a bodybuilding push session. I'll overlay some clips now of how I'm looking. Most of you probably don't care, but whatever. Just logging progress and that. I'm back up to around 80 kilos body weight at the moment, which is usually like the heaviest I sort of push it year round and that. Um, feeling pretty good. My body composition for 80 kilos is the best it has been. I'm also the strongest I have been. I've been mainly running like powerlifting, like squat bench deadlift for the last few months, like couple months, trying to get stronger. But I started like, I had this, I've got this ongoing pain in my stomach that I'm having it looked into. And when I do like heavy powerlifting and stuff, it actually makes it worse. So I've decided to step away from it again recently. Uh, this is like my first week back into bodybuilding and it's feeling pretty good. So yeah, managed to like work up to 180 again on squats for like a few reps, um, decent, like 200 for a few reps on deadlifts, like five reps I think is my max, and then like 100 for eight on bench, which is decent, and to be honest, I think my bench will continue progressing, it's just mainly squats and deadlifts that I have to take a seat back from, but yeah, obviously you're watching my physique now, pretty happy with how it's looking, very, very thick, like a potato, mate, and don't really know what I'm going to do about summer, I'm definitely... 
don't plan on doing like a super shred but then at the same time as soon as I get the taste of sun and festivals I do like to obviously like lean down a little bit so 80 kilos at the moment potentially I'll drop down to like 74 um, and just like sit there and not go like too much crazier below that but yeah man madness was it like nearly 10 o'clock now I'll get some food in me when I get back my sleeping pattern's been pretty fucked recently I've been staying up quite late um, like till midnight like 1am 1 1 oh well fuck it mate on to the fucking next day mate Fucking sick. Yeah, I'm filming again now. I've decided I'm gonna start making videos again after not doing it for like 700 years. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, it's well weird. Just like when you stop doing something, you just get out of sync with it, and then yeah. it's just like. Just, I think it was also because we moved to Plymouth and getting in the depot and that didn't kind of yeah. just like want to straight away start shoving a camera in people's faces and that. Mm. Although to be fair, I just film on my phone, but whatever. <laughs> do you want any of this? Absolutely not. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. No, I don't. You. It's just, I don't really it's, like it's pre -workout. And well, I don't take pre-workout as it is. Why would I just fucking send yeah. it with that? Well, why not? Why are you making it sound like pre-workout such like a scatty thing? It's not scatty, but I just don't like it. Is that the one that makes your face like itch? Like crazy? yeah, it's yeah. probably my face probably gonna go red as fuck. Also, I like fake tan earlier, right? And then I got a haircut, <laughs> and they've cut it like they've cut your tan off. Basically, yeah. That's peak. I know. Oh well. <laughs> Sharp, isn't it? Thing is, I can't really if I tan over it, then it's gonna be too dark. So yeah. Oh well. Oh Sharp well. Is. Shit does happen. Oh, I literally can't imagine anything worse than that. Mm. Just done. <laughs> To be fair, I've got my laptop's gonna die, so that's how much time I've got. Why don't you like put it on power save mode or something? It probably is, but um, everyone, Grace from Boardmasters is session with us tonight for hospitality. Mm. What other events have we been to? Warehouse project. Yeah, I went to Wales Project on Glee's album launch. Oh yeah, that was honestly one of my favourite days so of summer. so jokes, yeah. That, that was honestly, that was like such a unexpected, like, sick day. Yeah. We, we didn't, we just, we just got drunk, kind of like. Yeah. Out of nowhere, really. And Geezer just kept buying us drinks. <gasps> yeah. And then he got kicked out. Yeah, and then he got back in. And then he got back in, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That was such a sick day, though. <laughs> was that, didn't, was that a day, I oh, know, we travelled there just for that thing. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it was pretty sick, to be fair. Right. <laughs> cheers.
Hospitality, man, that was insane. Yes, yes, so I hope you I hope you enjoyed those clips of Hospitality Plymouth. Legit, that was one of the best nights I've had. Like the depot is such a sick venue. If you're ever in Plymouth or like the surrounding areas, definitely try and check out an event there. It's so sick. But yeah, to have the hospital crew there and the energy was just huge. The whole night was obviously ridiculous. And then what ended up happening is the next day. They invited like me and Mo to the Bristol event at like, Motion in the hospitality. And originally I was like not planning on going, but couldn't miss it. Couldn't like miss seeing metric back to back Delta Heavy, a uh, new tone, Technomatic. I didn't manage to catch that much of Camo and Crooked, but what I ended up doing is I actually sent it sober and then I drove back to Winstock because I had plans like that later that day, later that night. Well, well um, yeah, I had to be somewhere. Um, and that doesn't make any sense, but whatever, I can't be bothered to explain. And then, yeah, man, it was just a decent event, and I'm very glad that I went. So sick, motion, such a sick venue. So what you're going to watch now are some clips of the, the event and motion, hospitality. Um, yeah, it was the first time Metric has ever gone back-to-back -back with Delta Heavy. First time ever. So, like, being there to experience that was insane, and it lived up to expectations. Two of my favourite artists going back-to-back, -back and, yeah, sober, and I still had an absolutely mental time. And big ups to everyone who came and said hello to me because there was a lot of pe people at Motion who were like, yes, mate. Um, I was sweating so much, man. I just get so gassed. So, yeah, enjoy these clips. And I hope, yeah, you guys are fucking sound, man. <laughs>
All right, sick. So I'm just finishing editing this video. You don't have an outro. Just want to say big up to everyone who checked out the previous video. And if you've watched this far, your sound as fuck. I am very gassed because this weekend I'm going to be sending Friction and Turno in Southampton at Engine Rooms. And yeah, it's going to be sick. Friction's guest listed. Me and my mate Kate. So that's going to be quality. Look forward to that video. And yeah, man, just feels good to be filming again. I also, I picked up a new phone uh today iphone 13 pro and yeah i just needed an upgrade from this one this is the xr got a lot of things planned for this summer with filming and that and events and i just wanted a better phone to film on better content and that's got better audio quality as well because on the xr for some reason they've got a volume limiter on it so when it gets louder it like cuts the volume lower and that's a bit peak for events and that so yeah gas to see out check out the quality of this new phone um and yeah absolutely buzzing but I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have smash that thumbs up button uh, sounds like weird and cringy saying that but whatever if it does something then that sound obviously the channel has been a bit dead for the last two months so we'll try to get some momentum going um, I have got some more merch coming I've got some chains coming out it's gonna be ninny it's gonna be ninny it's gonna be naughty so yeah man very gassed you're all legends I appreciate you I'll see you in the next one